Well, shit. What are y'all doing? This, this is, is awful. awful. I'm Deontay. I'm Jordan. And welcome back to This Is Awful Chucky TV series review episode five, Doll on Doll. And first thoughts, uh, this was an episode. There was a whole lot going on in this episode. Like this was an episode episode. And so we're just gonna get into it, kind of let you know our thoughts and opinions on the show and you know, and where we're at so we far. We sat on them too. We, we, sat. we sat on these, we sat on these thoughts. We didn't immediately react. And so now we're just gonna get into it. All right, so opening scene, we have bro Chucky talking to don't we call him Simp Chucky now? Yeah, that's Simp so, Chucky. So we gonna, and I got a theory. I got a theory about Simp Chucky, and I'll get to it in a minute. Okay. So um, we got, as I said, as I predicted in the last one, he didn't kill him like I thought, like they were trying to make it seem like. It. So he was just, you know, they're having a conversation, and then they break out into a fight. Now, we got Jake and Devin outside watching this, watching fight. this fight, and then these two dolls are in there throwing hands mm -hmm. and now i'm like okay what the fuck is this episode already usually already. usually we get to about the middle of the of the episode and be like bro what the fuck is this they came <laughs> they came out with the what the fuck <laughs> and i'm not gonna say i did I, I disliked the fight but it was like like i don't even know how to describe it i'm gonna just say i was like oh, okay so this is how y'all this is where y'all gonna take it because i thought chucky was taking this i didn't know if they this show was taking itself serious or not and now i know for sure that <laughs> it it's not. definitely not <laughs> taking it. It, they have, and that's fine that's fine but now i know for sure not to take this show seriously and whatever they throw at me i'm fine with now because watching the dogs fight that was not on my bucket list i mean that was not on my 2022 <laughs> calendar list watching two chucks so fight. What did you think about the crucifixion and... I want to know what uh, Don Mancini and if there's other writers, I want to know what their take on Catholic Church is. Like, are they purposely... Like, just shitting on it a little? Yeah, <laughs> that's a what I wanna, it? yes, that's what I want to know because why he crucified that doll? I guess some kind of symbolism. Well, you know, he was getting the shit beat out of him. And then, he, no, he was. And then he looked up and there was a crucifixion of, oh, Jesus, yeah, yeah, of that yeah, cross yeah. on the wall. And he was like, I guess he saw the light or whatever. Because remember, he is kind of like a like a newborn or he's, he's kind of like a... So he's like, he doesn't have any information. So the information that he's given, he may take it literal when he's not supposed to. It's kind of like a newborn. Could be. Which is going to lead into my, again, into my theory later on. Well, we'll get to it in a second. Um, but again, we I was already like, what the fuck? In this opening scene of the, the episode. Yeah. Devin and Andy, I mean, Devin and Jake are outside doing nothing. And they're arguing. You can tell like they're, they, they're still having relationship problems. Um, and... Like it's just a whole, it was just a whole lot going on at the beginning of the right. episode. I was a little indifferent about the fight. Like it never it neither swayed me nor like pushed me away from the show. But then when Jake and Devin come in and start talking to Simp Chucky, yeah. that's when I was like, okay. Because uh, we're gonna just continue right on uh, with the uh, reps. Are they really trying to give us Baby Yoda in the form of Simp Chucky? Are they trying to make us like? Oh, it's so cute and it's so because oh, it's not because like, it's not working because it's not working. Just, it's not, just, just, just let you know right now, it's just not working. I'm not going around. Oh, because right. I, th I think they're trying to make us it's, it's, for Chucky. Yeah, and it's, it's not supposed to be real innocent. Like, did I do the like? Did yeah, I do did the right, right thing? Yeah, like I killed him for you. Is that what I was supposed to do? Like, like get that, this, get that shit no. out of here. <laughs> No. If they trying to make us go out and buy a little Chucky plush doll to try to, it ain't working, fam. It's, it's working on Jake. Yeah, and Devin is pissed off. I mean, as, and, a, as he should be because <laughs> yeah. what the fuck, Jake? Yeah, <laughs> you simping too hard for for this doll, like bro. It's not believable. You yeah. ain't you. He the Chucky killed like your your family. He took a lot from you, not just your dad, but he took your cousin. He took your uncle, like. Uh, 
adopted brother. Adopted brother, like bro. Uh, I don't give a fuck how innocent you think this dog is. Mm -hmm. He gotta fucking go. Even Chucky himself, Simp Chucky said that he's like, so I did all of this stuff before, and Jake was like, no, that was a different one. He's like, but it could be still in me. And, and that's what I was telling you about. We've seen this before. Yeah. It's like they're trying to play on this this bad character, and they turn good, and now they're like. They did this. Mm -hmm. You got to end me. You. That's like, bro. This is not how where I thought Chucky was gonna end up. Like, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think we were gonna. We were gonna be here, but yeah. I mean, we are here. So hey. Yeah, I'm really. I don't really know how to feel about Simp Chucky. Me either. I mean, I know how to feel about it. Get that weak shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. All right. So we jump back to Tiffany and Glenn. Uh, now we're dealing with the aftermath of everything that happened last episode. Tiffany looks a wreck and glenn is on her ass <laughs> <laughs> on her ass <laughs> with all these questions and tiffany ain't got no got no real answers but she is playing hardball like i tell you what you want to know if but, you tell me where nico's at yeah like she like bro that's the last thing you need to be worried about because <laughs> you got bigger problems mm -hmm. and in the in the form of who uh, her sister. Her sister, yes. Yeah, because her sister also on her ass. On her ass, like <laughs> God damn. That's the universal sign for somebody ass. Then <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking um, her sister and more bills. You have a check for me. <laughs> Isn't that precious? Nice try, Jennifer. Now you're just going to have to write it again. But I'm starving. You promised me chocolate. Chocolate? Oh. oh. Jennifer Tilly. And Jennifer Tilly, we found out some big fucking news. The soul swap, the, the, the ritual has so many like variations <laughs> because now we know that Jennifer Tilly is inside the bell doll. So they soul swap. We thought, well, the show made it seem like once you put your human soul that was in a doll into another human, you and that human now share the body. That's what they established with Nika and Chucky in uh, The Curse of Chucky. But the seed of Chucky was before. So... Why wouldn't Chucky use that spell? Or maybe he didn't have the amulet to, cause you know, they had the amulet in um, Cedar Chucky. But why would he not, why would he want to be in the same body as Nika when he could just cast Nika out? And then, then he doesn't have to worry about it because apparently that's what Tiffany did. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I think that's just one of those things that doesn't make sense that we're not gonna get an explanation on. Yeah, because and, and then they goes that pass that same logic on to the children. Mm -hmm. If those two babies were human babies and they had one doll, don't those two babies have souls or personalities or whatever else that should that be should be in, in the, the doll? doll? But how can you put two souls in one Glenn doll? But just like you did one doll into two, what's going on? What are we doing here? I'm not even being funny at this point. I know I bring this up every time, but it's messing with the logic of the show. Yeah, like, there's a lot of, uh, not loopholes, what is it? Plot holes. Plot holes. There's a lot of plot holes. But it is funny how Tiffany was like, I've been playing online poker. I even did the voice <laughs> of Meg just to keep you you to, from uh, to having money. Like, that's crazy because when she went back there, we were like, what the fuck did she got in here? And then she took that. I was like, no way, bro. Like, that's, even though it's like not making sense, that was pretty good, though. Like, yeah. I got to give her that. Like, that was pretty good. Uh -huh. I, I enjoyed that. And then, I mean, she got to keep her there because she got to keep up this persona. So she going back there to get information from Jennifer Tilly on how to be Jennifer Tilly. So she needs her. And, but then she made a, she made a bad, and then she just wants chocolate. What is that about? Because she kept saying, I'm not giving you no more chocolate. Uh -huh. it, I guess the only thing she needs to survive off is chocolate. I don't know. Because it was a thing about the chocolate. She was like, I'm not going to give you Yeah, she's like, chocolate. that's all I've been asking you for. Yeah, it's chocolate. Like, what, what is that about? I mean, well, I guess we'll, hopefully we'll find out. But I am glad they brought her back. I am kind of, I that was, again, that was interesting. But then, Jennifer Tilly makes a bad decision. Mm. By and it, I called it. You did call it. You definitely said 
that she was going uh she was going to give her bad information and then Tiffany ended up doing Tiffany things. She went and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now that was probably the best Tiffany. I, matter of fact, I think that whole segment was probably the best segment of the show. Just seeing her like like tell the truth and everything fall like kind of fall rage. apart and, and rage and then she was like I'm Tiffany Valentine yo fuck your mother uh-huh. I was like okay and at the moment where you could see like the look when she realized that Jennifer Tilly had deceived her because mm-hmm. so she went and asked Jennifer Tilly the information that she needed to tell Meg to keep up this image Meg knows that she is wrong she's like that never happened that was in a movie that was a plot of a movie yeah and then the way that her eye like you could just see it in her face like that was such good acting you knew I right, she finna go with that she I thought she was finna I thought she was gonna do something to the dog but then I'm like nah she kinda need the dog but her going her snapping on her sister like that that was all kind of that was all kind of Jennifer too like, that's like, exactly like, that's all your fault snap. like yeah. you, kinda, <laughs> yeah. you did that you should have known better you don't lie to no cycle like that and no. then you got your family in there and, I mean to be honest but Tiffany did kind of like kind of seen that coming like she just going in there while they're still there yeah like, you didn't think they were gonna follow you right especially after what glenn and glenda already found in another room yeah like you, you just, can't do that they already know you got secrets like big secrets she had that, life or death secrets she had that dog back there doing taxes <laughs> yeah. and father bryce he's sick of uh he's sick of devon ass he didn't enough he done had enough he was like all right we gotta send this dude to the to the to the pen. We gotta send yeah. him. You go to juvie. You go to juvie, dog, because he got caught with taking the knives out of Bro Chucky, um, you know, with the mock crucifixion. And then they had this big old super serious scene about it. Like, bro, this scene is too serious for uh, for we, us to just have watched two dogs two fight. Like, y'all cannot go from that to this serious. Like, talking about they using big words like Inquisition and like, bro, what are y'all talking about? Like, <laughs> he, uh, whatever that sister name is, bro, she trying too hard and he is trying as equally hard to shut her down <laughs> at every moment. Like, bro, she just said one word. Like, every time, every time she speaks, he interrupts her. Like, look, like he is so sick of her. I don't know what she did. Her to and him. Devin about to get the boot. Yeah, her and her and Devin, like, they have, they have. He's had it up to here with both of them. Like, he's had it up to here. What did you think about that? Which part when he was in there talking to Dr. Mixter? Yeah, all of them when they had their little powwow. Like, what was that? Like, yeah. what was all of that about? I don't know, but I mean, to be honest, he kind of had a point though. He was like, This was your idea. Like, why, first of all, why would you send them here? Why would you send them here? Knowing the it? stuff that you think they know or you think they did, why would you send them here? And where you been this whole time? Because like, she hasn't been meeting with them. I haven't seen her. We, we, I thought she had a, I thought, I didn't know her office was there at the school. I thought it was somewhere else, and I, they drove yeah. there. So what? So I thought so too. So, but maybe she's supposed to be coming to visit or something because that was their therapist, right? Yeah, but she said, "Don't call me out of means when I'm in the means with children." So she has oh. been there. We just haven't seen her, right? I guess. Or have we seen her? But and we she just ain't been, been meeting with them. Well, yeah, she ain't been meeting with them. So he, been he been, asked some good questions, and been. she bullshitted around and didn't give him no answers. And sis, like, and you know, the the sister. Mm-hmm. She, sister. The sister, she wouldn't have it, none of that shit. She was like, bro, I ain't joined this. I ain't joined here for it to be, you know, uh, going off what you consider right. And with, nah, yeah. that ain't how it's supposed to go. Like, you treat, there's a standard, and we don't just judge off what you feel at the time. Is right. And Father Bryce making uh, Devin read the Bible, and specifically Leviticus, because mm-hmm. uh, it had that thou shalt not lay with man. That was kind of, that was some old, that was like a, the dick move of the century. That was the, like, I'm talking I feel about, like that was pretty accurate though. Like, I feel like that would happen at a Catholic church, a Catholic school. Yeah, I mean, I agree, but that was like a dick move though. Like, Cause I didn't know why he was like, why you gotta read it? Yeah, that's a weird, I don't know the Bible like that, but that's a weird, uh, you know, weird book to make him read. Yeah. And then they just zoomed in on it. He was pissed too. Oh, he was pissed. <laughs> Little ugly curly head fuck. <laughs> oh my goodness, please. <laughs> we is on camera. Speaking of the sister, bro, what is her problem? I don't understand why she's so thirsty to be with. Like now she finna worship bro Chucky because he came back to life and you think she thinks he's Jesus? I don't know what her problem is. There's no way. There she is no thirsty. way she too thirsty. She believes that that is Jesus in this doll body. If if and that's all it took 
too. Like, so she definitely finna, she finna cause some problems. And he was boasting. He was like, I, I have risen, and it didn't it even take three, three days. <laughs> they are definitely <laughs> mo- mocking the church. Dick move, bro. I don't know what Catholics done did to these people, but dick move, bro. <laughs> dick move. And yeah, she over there talking about. What did she say? Something like. Yes, my kid. She said something wild. Whatever it was, that like was the wrong I'm answer. Yeah, though. it was the wrong answer. That whatever it was. I, there's no way she believed it. She, she gonna be a problem. I'm, I can just picture her next episode carrying him. Maybe not because he brought Chucky, but you can't carry Jesus like yeah. he's a baby. I mean, he, he a little dog. <laughs> no. so, uh, all right. So our other plot, uh, uh, one of the many in this episode, subplots. Um, we have Nadine and Lexi. They're spending most of this episode together. Well, a little bit of it. Um, you know, Lexi's her withdrawals are really kicking her ass right now they on her ass too like everything was on everybody's ass and they thought they had a problem with trevor and with the body but then all of a sudden um he's gone and we don't know where the fuck it where the body went yeah first we like maybe jake and devin got rid of it for them but then they come to their room they like nah it wasn't us so, so like they think they got an ally and Simp Chuck, it was like or the enemy. So now we're like, ooh. Okay. Yeah, I would definitely be even more scared. Cause oh, yeah. even if it is somebody that's like looking out for them, I'd be like, okay, what what price is this gonna be? You and know, like what do I owe you now? And why you ain't said nothing? You don't you ain't leave no note or nothing. Right. You're just anonymous. Like Yeah, oh, I don't bro. like that. Me either. And we also got another uh like a um um, like a heart to heart moment. This one didn't hit like the, the first one did. Yeah. This one didn't hit like that because she was talking about some gerbils. I guess she was trying to relate her mom's addiction to that's how she know Lex is going through the addiction. And it was just like that gerbil story didn't really hit like that for me. Yeah, it didn't make much sense because she was saying how she had like five different gerbils. They all kept running away. Finally, the fifth one, she came home and it was out of the cage, but it didn't run away. But I'm guessing that was the day that she found her mom deceased yes overdosed but it just i don't know she was focusing too much on the gerbils, on the gerbils yeah. and i don't see what the correlation was that the gerbil didn't run away this time because like why did the gerbil stay because the mom was dead because it was like oh like when she got to the end of the story it was like oh this is a story about your mom's addiction i thought this was a gerbil <laughs> I thought this was a yeah gerbil. and i mean i don't mean to laugh because <laughs> these are real issues and i'm sure there's kids that are going through this that could probably relate so i don't mean to laugh at the seriousness of it but it's just the way that the story was told it wasn't it was confusing and it didn't hit like we wanted it to or yeah, we would have hoped the first one the first one heart to heart they had it did hit but this mm-hmm. one i was like all right um yeah even when she was like she was like girl shut up so i can take these yeah like, <laughs> I'll feel, look, look, like oh, I'll cute, cool story bro <laughs> cool story bro i'm still beneath these though <laughs> didn't work <laughs> no but she did end up uh flushing them down the toilet yeah, so i did. guess it did work but it didn't work for yeah, us yeah i would have still i would have <laughs> <laughs> all right and so now the episode is kind of like now the groups are kind of splitting up we see uh we see like some little clicks inside of clicks are forming so nadine and jake are now baptizing simp chucky <laughs> this is the wildest sentence Wild. you could have said for a chucky tv show <laughs> say, okay. it, say it again <laughs> all right so jake and nadine are baptizing simp chucky <laughs> that's what they're doing right now and then we got Lexi and Devin. They out to get. They like, man, we gotta kill all the Chuckies. You know what I'm saying? We ain't finna leave none of them alive. But then his Chucky's phone comes back on, and they find body parts in like the background of the picture, and they're like, oh, maybe these are breadcrumbs. Now, how in the fuck, or why in the fuck? Who in the fuck? Why in the fuck would anyone relate that to bre- like? Oh, those are body parts that they're le- two part question actually. Why would you leave those as uh, breadcrumbs, right. be- body parts? And two, who would ever think that's what those are? A trail to get to. Y- y'all, there. y'all have proven y'all ain't that smart throughout this whole two and a half, uh, one and a half seasons. So you are not that smart to put that together like that. Stop playing with us. <laughs> Stop playing with us. And then, and, then, and then we get to the end of the finale and we see what you predicted. You didn't predict it like the first episode. You might be a genius. The lottery is coming up. We supposed to play lottery today. What Ooh, we? Ooh. It com- we're coming out on Saturday. On oh, Saturday. Oh, okay. My fault. I interrupted the whole episode for that. <laughs> keep, it, look, keep it in there too. <laughs> anyway, so 
we get to the end of the episode and Doc, dr mix mixter is working with the general the and he, colonel. the colonel and he and he's still alive <gasps> Who would have thought? thought Andy's still alive and he's working on his he was working on his leg, wasn't he? Yeah, I don't know what that was. We couldn't figure out what was going on. Yeah, I couldn't figure out what was going on either, but they're in a cabin behind um the the school. The school which begs me to think why were they shipping those chuckies? <laughs> to the school if they if they got a little what address? you had to drive all the way to the post office just where to come all the way back where it was because didn't didn't both those chuckies come in a the box they did so wait a minute hold on wait a minute so why was he leaving pictures of breadcrumbs why are you still questioning no cause logic? I'm, no because i'm saying i want to make sure I, so the so the chucky was leaving breadcrumbs to get back to the that cabin, pipe, the, the cabin but he came in there in a, in a box, didn't he? Maybe somebody else let. Maybe I don't know who would have left those. Okay, but th- that was the Chucky's phone, though. Oh yes, that yes. was his phone. He definitely it, came in a box. Maybe he. He maybe definitely he came, came in a box. In a box so. And Doctor Mixter then took him to the cabin. Maybe she was the one who picked him up. Where did we see where he went when he got off the truck? I thought he went into. Uh, he went into. The, uh, Father Bryce's office, and, and he he killed the uh, nun. Then child, I couldn't tell you. Cause and that's the same one that was taking the pictures, right? I'm 100 percent the same one taking the pictures. Yes. So I don't know. Maybe he was. Is it? Yeah. That was the same one that was taking the pictures, cause that's the one they converted. Cause remember he okay. had the phone and he was mm-hmm. talking to the colonel. Mm-hmm. And so what is these breadcrumbs, man? You know what? Hey, look, that was the episode, dog on dog. <laughs> I'm not finna try to figure this shit out no more. If you got an answer to these questions, please let us know because I don't know what's going on. It's starting to get real. It's starting to get real. I might not be back uh, for season three. It's, it's really like they not yeah. gonna be back for season three. They killing off everybody. They tying up all these loose ends. We know. We now know where Jennifer Tilly is. We now know where Kyle and Andy both are. Well, we don't know where Kyle is. Oh, well, we we yeah. saw a glimpse we saw, of her. We, saw, we, we know, know she's that she's going somewhere with Nika. I feel like they're wrapping it up. Like, they might not think it's a season three. I don't know, but I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know. But that was Doll on Doll. Tell us what you thought about the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I know I don't say it at the end of the videos because I just really feel like that's something that you should just know to do. But I'm going to say it anyway. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see y'all in the next one. May peace be with you. And also with you.